Hello. Oh, hi. Say hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Welcome back to Lucian. Ah. Okay. You want to go? Yeah. Huh? Bye. Say bye. Hello guys, welcome back to Listen the Great and today we are talking about 5G, 5G data. So what is 5G? 5G, people are saying it's still in its experimental stages, experts can't quite tell about it but the thing is 5G has actually been installed in very many countries and in Kenya we have had the hype that Safaricom wants to bring about 5G and it's a very good thing, I'm very happy. I am going to be able to download a movie in less than a minute, that is so good, a HD movie in less than a minute. It's going to bring about autonomous driving and it's going to bring about, it's the foundation for virtual reality. Do you know what that means? That is like, we are going to the next level. I can just imagine the next thing is telepathy. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just really, really hyped about 5G. So what is the people, what is the complaint about people? People are complaining that 5G is going to bring about radiation because most of the 5G is going to increase the amount of beams. This is um, the, ant the antennae that are going to be used because the frequency of 5G is very strong. It's like a microwave. So we can't have boosters at wide ranges like the way we have with 4G. The boosters are going to have to be closer and with the boosters being closer, radiation, radiation is going to kill birds, the birds are going to die and then they're going to get cancer. That's the argument that people are having, but is it the truth? I don't think so. You know, the, the most interesting thing about 5G is going to bring, it's going to be brought about by five tech, new technologies. And I think the fact that you're talking about new technologies is what people are most afraid of because they don't know about these technologies. 5G, the foundation of 5G is going to be milli millimeter waves, small cells, massive MIMO, beam, beam forming, and full duplex. These are things that the engineers hear about and they just decide. I talk to my engineers friends and I'm like everybody is saying 5G is going to kill all of us because of radiation and they're like oh to hell and I'm like 5G is going to kill birds and they're like oh to hell. Do you know that farmers also kill more birds than 5G is going to kill? For example people who have, who have farms like they have uh, rice and wheat and all these they do not like birds being in their fields because when birds are in their fields they come and they eat the crop and when they eat the crop it's bad for business so farmers have a tendency of killing birds so what is this that 5G is going to do to the birds that has not yet been done to these birds okay we need to conserve our environment but at the same time we need to understand that 5G is not as bad as people think why is 5G not as bad as you think because 5G is not uh, it does not bring about radiation. How does it not bring about radiation? What I'm saying is electronic devices emit non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation is not harmful in any way. This is the kind of ionization, ionizing, <laughs> what is it? Ionization that is um, used to power electronic devices like computers, like TVs, like our smartphones. It's does not emit any kind of harmful radiation to us. On the other side of the spectrum, we have ionizing radiation that we get from X-rays and that we get from ultraviolet, high ultraviolet dot radiation. This is the one that brings about harm to ourselves. It brings about cancer, and it's what we should be worried about. But 5G is not ionizing, meaning it's different. Um, does not bring about the radiation that we, we could get from the sun and from x-rays so i don't think we have much to worry about 5g but the only thing we need to know that 5g is actually going to bring about the kind of change that we have been looking for because you know it uses micrometer wavelengths it's going to be on the spectrum of micrometer wavelengths it's going to be a higher frequency than the 3g and the 4g that idea just makes me so happy like it's going to be much better than 4g i love 4g but something better than 4g i appreciate it any day at the same time we're going to have more antennas and we're going to have more base stations that we're going to ensure that we are on the same ground level coverage for all people people are worried about that because they're saying that micrometer technology is going to affect the human body we need to know even today especially if you live in kenya a third world country in the middle of nowhere these things happen every day and we're not going to stop technology because we need technology and we are technology, we are advancing every day. I have been talking to my friends who are engineers and I've been asking them like, do people know more about 5G than we do? And they're like, we are hyped, we are like, we're waiting for 5G. I hate the fact that if I want to make a problem, I have to buy things from the network provider 
well it wait for the network provider to give me a feedback then send it back it's a back and forth process but with 5g it's instantaneous like as soon as i buy something from network source i get it instantly which is good for business so i'm asking them what about the birds that people are saying birds are dying and you're going to get cancer they tell me like do you know think about rice farms when you think about rice farms and you can feel like cancer these farms farmers do not like seeing birds in such places farmers are killing these birds and when they kill these birds, it's because they're protecting their food sources, our food sources. So what do I think when I think 5G? What I think when I think 5G, I'm thinking like, we people need to find now. We have a new project. As well as of conserving our environment, we are going to have to protect our trees. We need more trees. One tree per person is all it needs to make our world a better place. And I'm thinking 5G is going to, 5G doesn't quite work with places where there are a lot of trees and a lot of buildings. So that I don't know how they're going to hack it, but I'm thinking that we have to find a way to work with Mother Nature because if we take too much from Mother Nature, Mother Nature will just take us out. And I don't think it's what we want for us, but I'm thinking now we need to know how to conserve our environment in terms of what do we do about these birds. I need the specialist to spark this debate, like what do we do about the birds? What do we do about the fact that people are saying that these um 5g is going to bring about cancer statistically like research wise it doesn't quite do that but what can we do especially about the birds because we need the birds they are a very important part of the bio bio <coughs> diversity of our biodiversity they're very important part of our food chain so what can we do about the birds to ensure that we do not harm our birds at the same time we get 5g huh? we need 5g it's a hype and i'm like we as Kenyans are being a third world country and having 5G. <laughs> I feel so great and feel so class. So this is the debate. We've heard about 5G and my research is based on actually the internet because um, and my engineer friends. But I want to hear from specialists like what exactly is 5G? What can we do with 5G? What should we not do with 5G? And how can the environment work together with 5G where we conserve our environment at the same time we get the best of technology? This is Alison the Great and until next time, adios amigo, comment, subscribe, like and share. I need you to comment, subscribe so I can keep making these wonderful videos and I can keep growing my channel. Until next time, adios amigos, bye bye.